Hi guys, this is Delaware Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the Android page sliding tab strip. Now, if you're conversant with the Google Play application on Android, you'll notice a page slider strip right at the top bar of the uh, application showing the top crossed, uh, the most recent application, the top uh, paid and also the top three applications you know for download and also if you are conversant with uh, the whatsapp application you notice that uh, they implemented the pit sliding top tab strip and also in whatsapp all right i'll be showing you in detail how to actually develop a page sliding tab strip in android so we'll be moving straight to android studio which is the development environment for this application first of all we'll go through the build gradle the model app session uh, we need to talk about the dependencies in this application uh, we have the app compact version 7 the support design 23.4.0 and the asterisk page sliding tab strip 1.0.1 this compile is very very important in the course of the application all right we'll be looking at the build gradle the project session uh, we only have the class part build gradle 1.5.0 that's fine Okay, we'll be going straight to the rest are uh, the layout files of the application. We have the activity main and also the fragment quick content XML. Let's look at the activity main XML. Okay, uh, we'll get to see the initializing rendering library. Uh, but let's talk about the text files of this uh, UI. It's a relative layout with a width and height match parent. Uh, look at this uh, particular XML. Uh, code the calm asterisk page sliding tab strip that's very important you need to include this uh, in your XML file with a background variable background tabs also we have the Android support version 4 view pager okay uh, followed by the linear layout that has the magic button left and right 8 dps 4 dps respectively and the rotation is horizontal okay all right, we have another image view. These are all colors, you know, depiction of colors in a box like a uh, effect is in a gray color. Another image view, okay, writes lemon. Uh, we have another image view just like the wine. You know, there is some click listener set on this uh, image views. We have another one just like an orange color. Okay, another image view follows, which is just very light blue. And the last image view is the, a deeper blue. Okay, a closing linear layout and also a closing relative layout. Let's get to see the design if it's that okay. That's been shown. Is how the uh, activity main XML actually looks like. Let's get to look at a fragment quick contact XML. Okay, that's this for the contact. You know, uh, with an image or view right on top. Okay, this is an this is a relative layout as well. It's with a nice wrap match parent and wrap contact. That's an image view which we saw image only from the drawable contact the text will follow with quick, quick contact on it and notice this calm asterisk page sliding tab strip uh, tag you now with the id tabs this is the one this is the uh, page sliding tab tabs already okay uh, and also the view page uh, uh, support version 4 okay uh, let's look at the values uh, we have the colors you know calling from the background window and also the strings uh, that's calling the app name, the action, the action set settings, and the action content. Okay, let's get to look at the drawable files. We have some uh, background tabs as an example for the drawable, which is calling from the drawable tabs pattern. Okay, uh, tabs pattern, right? So transparent. Uh, let's look at the contacts. I will get to see this picture. Uh, the background card. Okay, the action button. Uh, all right, that's fine. Uh, we'll be moving straight to our Java classes where we have two Java, uh, three Java classes the main activity, the quick contact fragment, and the super awesome card fragment. Let's look at the main activity. Okay, we got to import some stuff here uh, the fragment activity, the fragment manager, the fragment page adapter. Okay, uh, the main activity, and also we imported the page sliding tab strip from the Astrace uh, library. Uh, the main activity extends fragment activity. Uh, we declared some fields there the handler, the, the sliding tab strip, the pager, 
the adapter, the old background, and also the current color. Uh, our own create method uh, calls on the activity main, and we have to uh, uh, assign different IDs to these different objects being created. Okay. Our own create met on create option menu is for the main menu, right? An option an option item selected based on the menu created. So it's going to get this ID and get this corresponding action selected. Uh, we're going to change the action bar just as if an action bar is available in the change color you know, based on the color uh, variable. Okay, calling the checking if the SDK is greater than the honeycombs uh, uh, SDK integer. Okay, how do we have to call the color variable? Is on giving it a color variable uh, object. The same thing goes to the bottom variable as well. All right. We have one on click method and the restore state method as well. We have the variable callback and the my pager that extends the fragment pager. This is where we're going to have the uh, tabs uh, on titles of the tabs and strings array. The category is the home, the top page, just like uh, the Google Play Store application. The top browsing gr and the top new page, the top new free and the trending. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's look at a quick uh, concept fragment. Okay, uh, this extends the dialog fragment with the page sliding tab strip field, which are private fields, and the pager and also the adapter. We have a constructor called quick concept fragment. And a uh, non create method that checks up the dialogue if it's not to set up the feature no title and also the transparent. Uh, we have the on start method calling the super start, which changes the dialogue width. Okay, get the dialogue uh, based on the uh, SDK version if it's greater than or equals to Honeycomb. You know, it sets it appropriately. We have the contact adapter, which is for the contact. Now, the drawable is quite different from the uh, main activity. Just calling the Google Plus, the Gmail, uh, Gmaps, and also the Chrome. All right, that's fine. I'll be launching these in my Android, uh, uh, in my emulator, rather, and also I'll be uploading the source code to my GitHub account. So you need to pick it from there. And let's look at the Android manifest. This uh, the simple Android manifest we used to be used with. Okay, that's fine. Where we have the activity of the launcher, uh, no permissions uh, being declared. Okay, I will get to launch this in my emulator. Okay. Uh, we have our 100 page sliding tab strip. Uh, look at uh, the tabs, just like uh, the Google Play, the home session, the top paid, top free, the top browsing, top new paid, top new free. Let's look at the content. Okay, uh, I get to see this dialogue with Google. Uh, the Gmail, Google Maps. You can actually extend this. This is a full blown uh, framework that you can build on it to create a very smooth and slick uh, mobile application with lot of functionalities. Okay, uh, click up there. Let's click the uh, colors. Okay, can you see it's changing the the bar, uh, the top bar of the of the UI of the application? Changing it uh, to different uh, color mode is very beautiful. All right, thank you very very much for hanging out with me throughout the session. You know, I get it up to the uh, the the tab strip. This is a tab strip. Thank you very very much for hanging out throughout the session. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading the source code to my GitHub account. Pick it up and use it in the course of the application. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.